friends. Today I'm going to harvest several things. So this cucumber looks about the right size to me. So I'm going to harvest that. That one's a little bit small, so I think I'm going to give it another day. Here are two cucumbers, one there and one there. And I thought I was going to harvest it, but they look kind of small, so I'm just going to wait another day or two. I've got several green beans to pick. These are the yard long beans. Here's a little one, and then I've got some over here. I've got a couple here. Uh oh, I may have cut the wrong thing. Okay, I did not, but unraveling this is tricky. So I'm just going to go around all my entire enclosure looking for green beans that are roughly this size here. Check out this um, lining your long bean that's climbing, 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 and it's loaded with flowers, loaded with blooms. It's taken a while, but it needed the sun, the heat to create all this growth because it's staggered. It stayed the same size for a while. So I'm going to look in here for any green beans, yard long beans. It's coming along with the green beans, but it's kind of hard to tell between the stems and the beans themselves. I'm not sure if there's a deficiency in this in my peppers because they, they look dry, shriveled. They get lots of flowers, but then they don't make well enough so these are like a bunch of tiny little bell peppers but I better harvest them because I don't want them to go to I don't want this plant to bolt remember the cucumber plant that had two that were too small well I didn't see this until I came into the enclosure so this one's big enough to harvest didn't harvest them yesterday because they were a little on the small side. This is kind of on the small side, I think, but I'm going to harvest it anyway because I don't want it to get tough. And I'm hoping that frequent harvesting will provide me with even more. So I'm going to look around and look for the big ones. Typically, each day I get 10 to 12, 10 to 12, um, okra, and I just stick it in a bag, save it up until I have enough to stir fry with. Oh, shoot, I knocked off a, a blossom. Ugh. I hate when that happens. I'm 
I need to go around and get some more of the okra. So this is Sunday and this is the amount of food we harvested in just one day. And I, I have already harvested okra and cucumbers and some shishito peppers. So um, if you've seen my prior videos. So this is what we have and we will keep harvesting each day together because you've got to keep your eyes on the okra. Hi friends, it's been a couple days since I looked at this trellis and uh, this one is dropping some flowers which I guess is to be expected. Look at that. I just noticed that there are a bunch of fruits that are setting, hopefully. I mean, I think that's one. And I just water it every other day. Two, three, four, I thought there was one more, but anyway, and here's the fifth one, which I knew about. So it's making a lot of fruit. I love it so much. Oh, here is the other one, I think. Or maybe it was just the four. Over here, I've got several zucchinis, and I haven't harvested them in a few days. So this one looks like it's ready. Oh, there's a flower that dropped. I'll give that to the chickens, I guess. And then one right there, two with the blossom still attached to it, and then three right there. And then four below it. So that's five zucchinis right there in a row. So I'm going to harvest the biggest one. Maybe, maybe more, so that it will make more fruit. Oh, something must have disturbed it because it dropped two blossoms. Um, the other ones look like they are okay, but I don't know why it's dropping blossoms. Oops, I just pulled that one off. <laughs> That's nice. Hi folks, this is the next day's harvest. Monday. Hi everyone, today's going to be 97, 98 degrees. It's really going to be hot. Today's harvest, uh, which is Tuesday, is some eggs, a couple of okra, and if you can tell this one's kind of st um, round and short squat um, rounder this is the Clemson spineless this longer thinner one is the emerald green okra which I'm curious um, how it is it's already kind of well they're both kind of firm but I think this might be a decent size to harvest I will tell when I cook it up and this is my one singular cucumber today one um, zucchini, so one from yesterday, one today. Some green beans, your long beans. I also harvested this nectarine that I bought from the store this uh, spring from Costco. The double, double something. And this one, because it has double petals. And um, it's pretty. And it yielded one fruit because it didn't have flowers and then I put it in the sun which was probably not a great idea but the plant is still alive and it gave me one fruit and then I got a strawberry as well there, there are a couple more strawberries but that's what I've got for today Hi friends so today I harvested 
It is now Wednesday. I've harvested some green beans, a few okra, but uh, my primary harvest today is basil because I'm going to make a beef uh, salad today. So I gathered a little bit of every single basil I have, every variety, because they were starting to go to seed. So I may as well make them bush out and collect the basil. And I'm going to have beef salad and have some um, tomatoes and some cucumbers to go with it. So this one is lettuce leaf basil. It's really big. The leaves are humongous. And over here I've got a Thai, Thai basil. And over here I've got Persian basil. It's kind of um, purplish with some green in it. Kind of a variegated looking. Then over here I have lime basil or uh, cinnamon basil, sorry about that. And here is the lime basil, it's kind of green and it smells like lime. Mm. And then over here I've got purple opal basil. Mm. It's very smooth, um, very nice. Back to the cinnamon basil. Yeah, so those are the varieties that I have and um, the plants that I plucked them from, they're gonna bush out. So this is what's left of the cinnamon basil. As you can see, it's quite big still. These are my lettuce leaf basil and I just plucked off a couple of the branches. Here's my purple basil and opal basil. It's doing great. So it was kind of leaning this way like a branch that came out. So I just plucked off one branch. Over there is my lemon basil. But I don't want to go into my enclosure because um, every time I go in and out I kind of break off a of flower from my green beans. So. Here's my cantaloupe, it's getting along quite well, and beneath it, in there, is my kajari melon. It's growing really slow, I don't know. Here's another melon, and that I believe is a kajari melon. Here's another melon. Unfortunately, I cut one of these main branches as I was trying to trim off diseased leaves and I took off a whole branch with like four melons. Hi friends, today I'm going to harvest this tomato. It is... Oh goodness, I lost the label. How does that happen so easily? Um... Oh, okay, let's see. I found it. This is the Black Sea Man tomato and it was pretty good. I already harvested one and it has like these unique striations but I can't hold this and the camera and harvest at the same time so let me put this down. So this is the Black Sea Man and I forget what this one is but it's cat based and basically that's uh, two flowers fused together but it it continued to grow so that's how it looks all around and this happens typically with heirlooms and so I'm gonna try it later and so how you know two flowers are fused is because when I went to cut it I had to cut it in two places because it was attached to the stem in two places <clears throat> So it was from two flowers. So here I've got some some green beans. Let me show you the green beans. Oh my goodness. Look at all these green beans sticking out. So I could have picked them yesterday, but they were still thin and small for me. 
such as this one here. It's still small. It's about the length of my hand. You want You want it to be longer than the length of your hand. So this is a little bit more mature. And in fact, you could wait longer than that, but I'm not going to because I don't want them to get tough and I want them to keep producing. So the more you harvest, the more it will produce. So I'm gonna go in here and look for all the thick ones and we'll see how many we get. So <clears throat> I got three eggs. I got a bunch of green beans. I got one strawberry. There are two or three more on the growing tower, green stock garden, but I'm letting them ripen more, turn red more. I got some okra, and you didn't see this, but I also got one more tomato, and this is the beefsteak tomato variety that I bought, um, the store bought plant for ten dollars and so I've gotten some shishito like peppers the dragon rolls I've got this beefsteak tomato and then I've got this these tiny bell peppers and then the other pepper it never really came um, never produced it has a ton of flowers but it must drop the flowers or something so this is what I've got so far so if every couple days you gather this much then in about Approximately every other day you can cook with it. So it's good enough for us um, and Everyone's loving it and Pretty soon because every day it's it's gotten hotter So every day I've been getting more and more green beans and hopefully more and more okra as the okra is mature The first and second batch are now grown. So they are producing now. So pretty soon. I'm gonna get a lot Hi folks, so today I got some green beans again. Every day I get green beans and I try to get as many okra so I have about six or seven here. I have a zucchini and I have a little bird chili down here. So that's my harvest here for Friday. And I also harvested some flowers. I deadheaded them so I'm gonna um, try to collect the seeds and grow some more stuff. So, see you in the next one. Hi friends, so today I harvested another medium sized zucchini and I have some green beans again, the yard long beans. I've got some okra handful and I've got four tomatoes of different varieties. As soon as they start to blush, I bring them in so that other critters can't steal them from me and eat them. And I've already gotten several um, harvests, so I'm about to stir fry these uh, pretty soon. Hi friends. So I didn't film yesterday, but I did get about this amount of a nice handful of um, green beans, your long beans, and also another handful of okra yesterday, and a chili pepper each day, my bird chili. Um, quite spicy, but um, in a small amount, it's not too bad. Um, I put them in pastas and stir fries and all kinds of things, make sauces with them. Um, anyhow, so yesterday I had about the same amount as I have here, as well as one huge cucumber, which I had missed because it was like under, it was underneath. So let me show you um, the corn really quick. So the corn's been growing really well. Um, some of them felt like they were filled out to the very tips, but some of them were a little um, lacking. And I thought each stalk is just gonna grow one corn from what I've seen, it seems like it. And I was gonna harvest the corn and then chop off the stalks. However, there are signs that they may be growing a second corn on each stalk. I'm not sure 
a hundred percent so uh, so today I'm going to start harvesting the bigger corns and seeing if that happens and if it if a secondary corn does not come up see um, we just harvested five yesterday my son really wanted corn so he harvested right there and then it looks like it's growing something down here so I'm hoping that it'll each stalk will grow a second corn that would be great <clears throat> and here's the so here are the corn stalks the silks and uh, um, other stuff of the corn so we're just letting it um, chop and drop material and finally this which for some reason in my mind I thought was watermelon it's finally making cukes. The cuca melons are finally coming too because before they were these tiny tiny little things and finally I see two cuca melons. <clears throat> I hope there will be more and my cantaloupe is coming along and the kajari melons taking forever to grow. It's been the same size forever. I've been harvesting yard long beans every single day. Now these are too little and I get them when they're about medium sized. <clears throat> so, but this whole trellis, every day it produces <clears throat> enough for me to grab a handful and I can basically stir fry these every other day. <clears throat> so every day I harvest a handful and of green beans and okra and every other day so that's my okra right there and then so this was a fantastic idea of mine to not only have an enclosure for my garden so that critters don't dig up my plants <clears throat> and eat my plants before I get to them um, I decided to make an enclosure because I had a problem with uh, critters, raccoons, possums, um, you name it. <clears throat> so I made this enclosure and I have some garden beds in here. And it's pretty good for a first year garden enclosure, potager garden. And so I decided to grow some green beans up this section which would have been a dead space because <clears throat> it's where I closed my my door, my enclosure, and I wanted some shade and some greenery and possibly some flowers growing here, but I decided I wanted food, so I stacked the functions of this fencing. So it makes, one function is it makes an enclosure, and the second function is that it my green bees are climbing up it, and it looks really fantastic, and it's producing a ton over here. Um, in the other space, um, let me show you. I decided to grow anything that can climb, so I have a cucumber here growing. And I placed some more um, yard long bean seeds all along here. And this section right here has about 15 to 18 green bean plants and I, I sowed more but this is just what came up and the soil underneath there is quite hard so despite all our rains and everything it didn't soften the soil or anything well I guess when it dries it, it hardens so I just keep trying to succession plant things in here so I succession planted some cucumbers right there and there are four of them and that little guy was suffering and it's finally looking better so hopefully i get more crops before the end of the season we have in southern california we have august and september are quite quite hot very hot so it has a chance to grow and i might keep sticking some more seeds down there um and then let me go around the corner so as you can see we harvested some corn some some of the corns were filled out completely and then some of them were partially filled out with kernels um, not bad for a first time growing corn 
and it's quite fun. And I want to get seeds to but to grow more, but I don't know if I still have time or space. So I just keep throwing seeds into the ground. My Roma tomatoes never really grew, but it's really shaded over here. I mean, they're just tiny. Hi friends. So I harvested seven corns here and yesterday we harvested five. And on the corn stalks, I think they are definitely growing a second ear of corn per stalk. So I'll just leave them up because I was going to cut the stalks down. But as you can see, this one, the silk was still on top and it had turned brown. So I harvested it and, you know, it looks really bulky, but after you take off all these layers, um, it ends up being quite thin, but this is the uh, silver queen or something like that, queen something, and it's white sweet corn, and it's beautiful, and it filled out from there all the way down, which, except for here, so that's fine. And then this one, a couple of these, the silks had already fallen off or were eaten off, I guess, I'm not sure. This one filled out pretty well except for the top and so not bad for a first time corn grower. Uh, once you understand the fascinating story behind how to fertilize the corn and to get as much plump kernels as possible you have to realize you gotta once the tops um, the brooms start to show um, and the silks you gotta shake the corn um, every day because at the very top the brooms have the the male and female parts I guess and you've got to shake it down into where the silks are and the silks will collect all those material and bring it down via the silk into the corn and it makes all these kernels. It uh, germinates or fertilizes the, it germinates the, the corn kernels and then you have more and more corn. So when it's not fully, um, what do you call it, germinated on all of them, then you have some of these where it's, it didn't fill out. So not bad for a first year, first time growing corn. I'm gonna take these in and cook them and eat them. I love it just the way it is, it's so sweet. I'm going to do some harvesting. There are some things that I can harvest. This one may go, but this one's gonna stay a little bit longer. Last time I plucked one of these at about that size and it was bitter. So, not sure what to do, guys. Let me know. Hi, friends. So, we harvested some corn. And they're very small. This one's the only one filled out, and these two aren't very filled out to the top with the kernels, but that's okay. We got one tomato that blushed. First Armenian cucumber, regular cucumber, some okra, and some green beans. Sorry about those chicken sounds back here. Can't control that. Uh, today I spent the day mucking out the chicken run and the chicken coop so that they would have a nice place, nice bedding and everything. Hi friends, this is another harvest. I got some green beans, some cucumbers, one cucumber, a couple strawberries, some blushing tomatoes. Some blushing tomatoes and several varieties of basil and I want to harvest this Armenian cucumber um, but I'm gonna give it a day 
I feel that it could be a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. Does that look huge to you? I'm going to give it one more day. I've got another one that's on its way. And some very small ones. I'm very upset. Something's been eating my tomatoes. It ate that one, another one. Um, there was a pear here. I had to toss it to the chickens. And then there was one inside my enclosure. I'm not sure if it's squirrels or mice or baby possums. Not sure. It's making me have to bag some of my produce that I'm growing because it did get to one of my Kajari melons as well. I'm very frustrated currently. On the other hand, I made this really beautiful um, trellis. Not really by um, made a trellis, but I grew my Kajari melon. I had no place to put it, so I stuck it here right next to the chicken run. And it's climbing the chicken run. And it just looks so gorgeous. Kind of like my trellis on the other side of this chicken coop. But it's kind of setting the tendrils into the, hard, the hardware cloth. So on the other side of the chicken coop, I've got corn row and it's growing massive. And I already plucked out corn from some of these stalks and it's creating new corn right there. So it makes like a new little area, a new little section. And then I think corn is going to come out of there. And so that's pretty good because I was getting frustrated to like one stalk only makes one corn. So here's the second one right there. So I've been coming out and shaking the, the plants and the, the second crop I hope is not way smaller than the first. But and I think this one's even making a third one. Because this is the second one, and I harvested one up here. So that's cool. And there are some of my melons. However, they're being shaded out by the corn, so I probably won't get anything. But that's okay. I'm not, not bad for an idea of mine. I had to learn that <laughs> it wasn't going to work. <laughs> and how would I learn that, you know? I mean, they're growing pretty tall, but you don't know unless you try. <clears throat> so this cucumber plant has been growing forever, but it's not making very many fruit. It's kind of frustrating. I randomly place okra seeds kind of about, and here I've got one and two growing. The other ones didn't really come out, so I don't know, but out of the whole pack I only got two. I'm, I'm sure they're gonna come out, but maybe they're shaded out in corn row over there. Hi friends, so this is my harvest today. The green beans are slowing down just a tad, maybe not. And I got a regular cucumber pickling, northern pickling, an Armenian cucumber. I left it an extra day. So yesterday it was about, about this long and then I left it an extra day and it's like almost twice as long. These grow so quick and I love it. And I think it's more tender. One little baby zucchini. And I do think it has a squash bug because um, the little babies keep shriveling up uh, before they can get really large. So I've been harvesting them small. Some okra and some strawberries. So that's what I've got for today. 
and I don't know if it's because the heat cranked up but the plants aren't really producing as much also I have some issues with vermin um, eating up my crops so that's something I've got to deal with somehow um, I think I'm going to try to shine a light out into my garden tonight and see if that changes anything. Hi friends, it is Wednesday, August 9th, and I'm here in the garden, and I'm just checking for things to harvest, and trying to plant some new plants, getting ready for fall planting. I have um, some coriander seeds here, and I plugged them into several pots to start up some cilantro. And about a week ago, I started up some green beans, some yard-long beans again. And here is a little baby basil. It's been really slow to start, but it could be that it's shaded out here in this area by this cucumber. So I planted some more. Here's an okra. Here are several um, green bean seedlings, and I planted them all along this area here. Some more seedlings, seedling, cucumber seedlings that I planted two weeks ago. I've been trying to succession plant green bean, and I want it to grow kind of fully over here because I already have some started, but they are not growing very well not sure why some are growing okay so I'm just trying to make this this fence um, be full of green beans as it is over here it's full of green beans and I've been harvesting I've already stir-fried three rounds of green beans with um, okra and I also made a dish of egg and green beans and I gave some to my sister I still have some and I'm gonna keep growing them harvesting them eating them it's so delicious but an easy way to get greens into your body <laughs> 